Fracture risk assessment begins with a brief targeted history and physical examination. Height should be measured accurately as this can help to identify individuals with vertebral fractures. The get up and go test evaluates mobility. If risk factors are identified, then a more complete assessment is required. Currently, there are two tools available in Canada for estimating 10-year risk of major osteoporotic fracture. They are CAROC, from the Canadian Association of Radiologists and Osteoporosis Canada, and FRAX, or Fracture Risk Assessment System, from the World Health Organization. Both are calibrated using the same Canadian fracture data and have been carefully validated in Canadians. They apply to untreated men and women after age 50. It should be noted that the 2010 guidelines use a CAROC system that has been updated and replaces the 2005 version. The CAROC system defines three fracture risk zones. Low risk is fracture risk less than 10% over the next 10 years. Moderate risk is 10 to 20%, and high risk is greater than 20%. The risk system is based upon age, sex, and bone density T-score measured at the femoral neck. In addition, there are two clinical risk factors that are used to shift up to the next risk category. These are prior fragility fracture after age 40, and recent prolonged glucocorticoid use. If these are present, then they move the individual's risk category from low to moderate or moderate to high. If both risk factors are present, then the individual is automatically considered to be at high risk. FRAX uses the same clinical risk factors, but in addition also considers body mass index, parental hip fracture, rheumatoid arthritis, current smoking, high alcohol intake, and the use of femoral neck bone density is an optional input in the system. Both CAROC and FRAX are in very close agreement and give the same risk categorization 90% of the time. FRAX is based upon a more complete assessment of clinical risk factors and can be used without bone density measurement. But FRAX calculations are computer-based and require access to the FRAX website, iPhone application, or specialized software on the bone density machines. This software is still not widely available on bone density machines in Canada. The 2010 CAROC system, although less complete, is much easier to use. And therefore, for purposes of bone density reporting in Canada, CAROC is the preferred system. You can find the CAROC charts and the FRAX link on this website in the Tools and Resources section.